Gang, man, welcome back to another video. Whether you're new to the channel, you've been sticking with me since the last year, man, I appreciate you. If you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and do so. Like, comment. I'm open to any comments, any recommendations you have for the channel, or anything you want me to look into. I appreciate you. If you do, you do. You don't, you don't. Don't do it out of courtesy. I want you to do it out of your heart. All right, appreciate every last one of you guys being here. Hopefully, y'all been having a good weekend. Happy holidays. Happy Labor Day. All right, man. Hopefully, y'all going to be chilling tomorrow because today's Sunday. Tomorrow going to be Monday. So, of course, then, like, tomorrow's Labor Day. But yeah, man, hopefully y'all been safe and sound, staying hydrated, staying safe, man, staying out of the way, looking over your shoulder. Be careful who you trust. As I always tell y'all, and also, thank you. I'll never upload no video, man, without saying thank you. I thank y'all, man. Y'all brought me far, you know what I mean? I mean, to me, I feel like I came from a far away um, distance, you know, just only because for the simple fact that I did this shit all by myself. I know I ain't up to 10,000 subscribers. I know I ain't be getting, like, I know I know I don't be getting like 10,000 views. I ain't got 100,000 subscribers, man, but I'm sure I am the hell far away, man, from where I started. You feel me? So I appreciate y'all. Thank you, whether you're new or even you've been sticking with me, man. I put y'all in the same category, whether you you know, you've been sticking with me, watching me for a while, or if you're new. I appreciate you, man, either way around. But yeah, so came across this video, seen it. Or I didn't see it, though, but I seen it like on like when I was searching up, looking whatever it is that I wanted to react to. As soon as I read the title, man, I knew I had to share it with y'all, man. So, hopefully you'll stick to the end. Hopefully you guys will enjoy the video. Yeah, man, subscribe to the channel. Let's go ahead and get into it, all right? The Popeyes in Augusta, Angry Georgia. Woman allegedly crashed An alleged SUV incomplete into drive through oh, order turned into order, complete man. and total destruction. Bro, you know. 50-year-old And Brian I know, Miller bro. Was charged with oh, you see? Look, as soon as I heard that shit, bro, I knew this shit had to go down in the hood. I don't know where it's at. To proper, I, 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 I don't know where it's at, though, man. But if some shit like this go down over some damn Popeye biscuits, and somebody crashes their SUV into the damn Popeyes, just only because they were missing some biscuits, I know this shit had to go down in the hood. Let's the drive through order turned into complete and... Oh, yeah, by the way, also, I don't pre-watch these videos and upload them like I ain't never seen them. i never seen this video. Like I said, I only know what I know from what it says on the title, all right? I don't, I don't do none of that pre-watch. Total ahead. destruction. 50-year-old Belinda Miller was mm -hmm. charged with first-degree criminal damage to property and aggravated mm -hmm. assault. Miller okay. allegedly drove her... She looked a little scary, though, I ain't gonna lie. She looked... She wouldn't look like she's 50. She might look like she's, like, 30, 35. But she do look a little 2011 scary. 2011 black Toyota RAV4 Damn. straight through the side of an Augusta Popeyes, all because her drive through order was allegedly missing biscuits. After crashing into the side of the store, Miller supposedly fled the scene. Police then arrived and captured the aftermath of the incident. Oh, she made it right there. She made it that far in and took off. But if she took off, it wouldn't be very hard to find her. Because, you know, the vehicles would be on fire. If you do that, if I did that shit in my car, I would fuck my shit up. I probably wouldn't even be able to back out and leave, matter of fact. But, yeah, like, I mean, if she did that much damage, I'm sure it probably wouldn't be that hard looking for her or finding her. I know. All that shit over fucking a Popeye biscuit. How much some shit go for? I don't know. I haven't been to Popeye's for a while, though, but I'm sure it can't be more than $5. For a Popeye's biscuit. Can you believe it? I can't even believe that shit, man. Imagine if she would have lost chicken. Like, not that she would lose it, though, but what if they didn't include the damn chicken or the or, or the part that she asked for? Let's say, like, if they gave her a fucking thigh, but then she asked for a fucking drum. Imagine what she would have done then. I fucked around and killed somebody. Uh, yeah, because she took <laughs> off going that way. Like, come on, man. All this shit just for a fucking Popeye's biscuit. The store's manager told police that what shit. made Miller Thank so you. angry. Right. Oh, so she came in? She came in the first time, and I called the police the first time to get escorted out of here because she was disturbing everybody else. Okay. And she told me that y'all gonna have to arrest me. They're gonna have to pull me out of here. Okay. I'm gonna fine. And that's their job, so I'm gonna let them do that. Okay. She actually called up here to let us know she was going to run that car into that this building. But well, you are the manager. Yes, sir. I'm the manager. Now, when this, this first occurred about the, the biscuit thing, that's what it started, right? Yes, sir. So she had came through the drive through mm -hmm. argued about whining about some biscuits. When she came through, they must have forgot the biscuit out of her bag, and she drove off. And then I guess when she realized it was gone, she called back and told me about the situation. See, that's one thing. All the time when y'all go out to eat, I'm talking about like a fast food restaurant. When y'all go out, you know, inside the building or through the driveway. Before you leave, 
Look into the bag, take five seconds of your time to look in the bag and see to make sure that what you ordered or what you paid for is what's actually there in the bag. Do that shit all the time, man. All right, so when that's when y'all want to have to drive back and call and bitch about, you know what I mean, man? Just, like, make sure your shit's in the bag. If it's not, then, of course, go ahead and say something. I mean, shit, since you're already there, you can go ahead and just get it taken care of right there. Um, But, yeah, man, always check, you know, to make sure that you got your food and everything that you ordered. But still, I, I'm still fucking amazed, bro. Like, this like this woman really did all that shit. That's probably well over $1,000 in damage, I'm sure. At least $1,000. Over something that costs less than ten dollars. What it sounds like to me, the manager, the manager is saying that she pre she pretty much told her that she would be willing to give her a biscuit, but then she wanted to buy that, threatening her that she was going to kill her. So, uh, uh, after she did all of that, I just went ahead and called the officer and get it all in because she told her that we was going to have to do that for her. Okay, fine. So, after she... But then I said she probably threatened her that she was going to kill her. That's what she did. The officer left and told me that she comes back, called them back. Right when I came in here, come back to the business, that's when my co-worker told me that she had just called back and said she was going to run a car into the building. Mm -hmm. And five minutes later, she did. Miller was later found and arrested at her... <laughs> God, man. This shit's crazy. Home and booked at the Charles B. Webster Detention Center and held on a bond of over $4,000. For Law and Crime After Hours, I'm Sam Goldberg. That's it, man. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully, man, you know, you guys will be taking care of yourselves, looking over your shoulder, make sure... <sighs> Make sure everything. All right, man. Be careful with those who you trust. Always watch your man's. Always watch your woman. You know what I mean. Be careful, man. Who you trust? I'm telling you, bro. There's a lot of snakes out here. Devil's real. Demons is real, man. It could be anybody. I'm telling you right now. But hopefully, man, you guys uh enjoyed the video, man. Hopefully, you guys subscribe if you haven't yet. Like, comment. Let me know what your thoughts are. If you have recommendations for the channel, I'm open to, you know, read about it. Maybe hopefully even uh take part in it. All right. If you made it to this point in the video, thank you very much for prosperity towards you and everybody who you know and love.